mods and wanted and this is no regular wanted but what lies underneath is quite special so let's take a look okay guys we are with a very very special Aston Martin Vantage it's not just your regular V8 or regular S as you can see from the Aston Martin badging here which is usually green and is now black and if you didn't notice already this car comes with multiple carbon hood exits to cool down the massive motor underneath to which we'll speak about in a bit this is the Aston Martin Vantage V12 as you can see here it comes with some more carbon extras there as well as discussed on the hood with this massive outdentation on the hood here as well just to show almost the raw power that's underneath there you have these really nice designed wheels here with massive carbon ceramic brakes which you get on the front and the back obviously from the side profile you can see it is very similar to that of a normal Aston Martin Vantage but not much more extra detail you have the really nice extended side mirrors here just like Aston Martin you've got your concealed door handle with a very very wide back arch I must say the Vantage has always been quite a very subtle a very sleek very almost formal upstanding looking type of car there's not a lot of angles or sharp edges it's very well curved very well designed very sleek and it comes with these massive rear arches to hold those 295 back tires with again double-sided brake carbon ceramics to get this car to stop as quickly as it goes coming to the back end now you do have a slightly extended lip from your regular Vantage to make this set apart a bit and your main difference again with the black badging here is the V12 badge next to the Vantage here you do then again for more weight saving have some more carbon extras and a wonderful exhaust system single sided inside that sounds absolutely phenomenal so the overall des design of this car is just phenomenal I mean I'd like to just add you can see over there there's a Mark 5 Supra and if you look at the size of that car and you look at the size of this car there isn't much difference and another detail that I just noticed now in the front as well as on the back I don't know if you guys can see properly but there's this really nice cut out design in the lights that add a bit extra to them it's not just a simple light it looks more pure it reminds me almost like the newer Continental's crystal front lights almost from a previous generation type of era and so if you look at this car for what's underneath it and what's inside it is an absolute monster and it really is something special under the hood so let's head inside before we get to see what drives this beast okay guys so now that we've come into the interior of this wonderful v12 vantage what do we we think about it it really is a very minimalistic simple cabin you know you have the waterfall center console over here you have your aston martin clock over there now we did not find a way or we could not find a way to bring up the infotainment system but it is the same infotainment system as in the aston martin repeat we've already done that review twice so if you want to watch it just make sure you click the link up there and obviously we have to talk about the elephant in this cabin the six speed manual transmission yes it is a six speed v12 gated manual Aston Martin and I do gotta say this the shifts are so incredibly wonderful this has to be the shortest throw I think I've ever felt in a car it's really nice it's this gear shift is really chunky like you really have to grab it and then shift and then do your action this really is a driver's car then if you look into the gauge cluster we have your, speed, your tachometer which actually goes counterclockwise instead of a regular gauge cluster which will be a bit confusing to some people who haven't driven a car like this before but after a while you do get used to it then you have your speedometer as well your fuel gauge and much of your controls as as well and then the steering wheel is made out of alcantara which is so wonderful it just feels so nice in your hands feels so good to grip it makes it feel like this really is a driver's car you have some carbon fiber over here as you can see and then obviously you have your door handle for those of you who are wondering how to actually get out of this car you have leather over here and you have another set of red alcantara as well as these seats these seats are really really comfortable it's like a mixture between alcantara and leather i will say though it does kind of remind me of the honda civic type r in the sense that the, those seats were just so grippy so supportive and yet so relaxing as well like you could really go on a track with those car on with those seats and you could honestly drive home nicely and quiet and comfortably and while these seats do kind of remind me of that your memory seats are they're fine you know it's an old school car so it's made from the early 2010s and while there's not really much else to say 
and looking in here this is actual crystal guys i don't know if you can hear that that is crystal so it is for your ashtrays although i do recommend not to smoke but if you do want to get this registered and retailed it would probably go for quite a bit especially knowing it comes from an aston martin and then the sound of this closing it just sounds so incredibly good it's not like a regular car where it's a lot of the time plastic and you feel like the build quality just wasn't there so aston martin really went to great lengths to make sure that that sound just makes it much more sweeter and if you look into here a very small glove box you know um not much you can do as you can see it has an ipod well ipad hdmi port and yeah it's not really much else to talk about in here <laughs> i'm sorry i did that but yeah the, the cabin really makes you feel like it is a driver's car you know the the view around here it's a bit more claustrophobic so you feel more in it you feel more inside it you feel like you really are driving this car but now let's actually just head to mateo's side so that he can tell you about what it's like on the passenger side so guys, from the passenger side, I'd like to just start off just like Eugene said, almost in a claustrophobic way, you can really feel how small this car is. I mean, if you look at the headroom here, you've got quite a good amount of headroom. Obviously, being a two-seater, you get ample legroom in the car as well. And then just heading to some of the basic details, you can see the carbon fiber a bit better here, as well as he has the door handle to open it. And this was a bit weird for me, is having the window select button over here. It's like in a weird position. And that's not the best of quality, but I mean, you can't really complain when you look at the rest of the build quality on this car. This is all leather, You've got the suede Alcantara over here, as well as more leather and soft, top, soft touch, sorry, heading across the whole dasher. You can see the really nice red stitching to match the red Alcantara leather seats, which are superbly comfortable. There was one more thing I'd like to just say, is the glove box is actually pretty cool in terms of the sound it makes. Like Eugene mentioned about this, with this noise it makes here, if you look over there, there's the button for your glove box, and I want you guys to just have a listen to it. It is such a James Bond-like sound and like display. It sounds almost like he's pressed the button and the missile is going to come up, or the launch pad to send the missiles out from your Aston Martin is going to come out. I mean, listen to this. And it is so quick. I mean, there's not a load of space in here or a large amount of space just like if you went to the side piece here there's not a lot of space and that goes with the whole design of the car the car is really small in general and it doesn't have loads of storage you do have some storage in the back here being only a two seat as you can see where you can place some more bags if the boot isn't big enough which we will head to later on in the video but sure overall in this car everything is done well i must say it's built better than the ferrari california but maybe still isn't the full build quality of something high end in the german world of like a porsche but we all know porsche is hard to match because they try to make everything perfect in their car and this aston just has a really nice feel to it i mean even on this roofing lining here and the actual roof itself this is all suede and finished really nicely all stitched really nicely hand crafted that is what they go off of including the engine which we'll see now so yes overall everything is just nice i mean you've got some really nice finishing all along here yeah? as well as just the general finishes here yeah? everything is built well like eugene said the seats are a bit older you do have some more controlling of your middle part of your seating here yeah? and overall it is just a comfortable cabin to be in okay guys we have come to the rear end now to see how practical the v12 vantage really is and i'd just like to start off by saying if you look at this really clean design at the back here you don't see a handle piece to actually access the boot so where do you access it from if you look here there's a little silver press button of which you press and it releases but i must say the boot does start off quite heavy but as you lift it up it gets quite light as you can see it's got almost like a hatchback type of style inside you have actually a decent amount of storage especially if you compare it to something like the california that we reviewed this has quite a bit more storage in the car like that it's got more than enough to go to your, your casual grocery shop or even on a short road trip somewhere you could put a bag or two for a person or two in this car okay guys so now let's head underneath the bonnet of this car but first i have to talk about how these doors actually function so in a regular car it's usually a handle that you have to pull or a button that you have to press but here as you can see you have to pull it in there and then do it as like one motion as as you can see 
is like as Mateo said a swan neck door it is so beautiful it's actually useful and also beautiful at the same time so now let me actually come under here because it is a British car and see what lies underneath the bonnet of this magnificent car now the bonnet is carbon fiber to just make the, the weight lower so as you can see it has a 6 liter well 5.9 liter naturally aspirated V12 putting out around 380 kilowatts which is around 510 horsepower and around 570 newton meters of torque with a V12 manual transmission going straight to the rear wheel so it is more powerful than the V8s and it does have more torque but I really really like this car and the curb weight is about 1.7 tons which because majority of the weight is right there this thing is just massive in a tiny little car like this I mean if we just zoom out of it it really is a tiny car and compared to the Supra it's a bit smaller and a bit shorter in width and length but <laughs> you really do have to see like they really shoehorn this engine inside here of course hand built in England funny inspection by Barry Griffin thanks Barry for making this wonderful car and well let's start it up because it's a V12 and we need to hear how this glorious engine sounds We are in the passenger side of the V12 Vantage and it is honestly exhilarating being inside here. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, it's actually really quiet inside. Aston Martin has done a really nice job to make the driver and the passenger really comfortable in the car in terms of the sound deadening that it has inside here. You cannot hear that it actually has a massive 6 litre V12 underneath the bonnet until you really start going, which you guys will hear in a little bit now. But overall, it is as an Aston Martin is super comfortable inside I must say it is more comfortable inside than the Ferrari California that we've done and can even rival up to the standards of the Mercedes and Audis and BMWs that we've done as well in terms of comfortability and build quality and overall it is just a stunning car to be inside of and there you go guys that's when you can immediately tell that this isn't just a regular Vantage. Is when that V12 starts to sing and you get high in the rev ranges and your head gets pushed back into the seat. And it just has, it has a soul to it. Just like we said in the Ferrari, this car has a soul to it, especially with that V12. I mean, the manual, the rear wheel drive, the V12 symphony. just spectacular and I'm gonna hand it over to Eugene now, now to just see what he thinks as well about this car but overall this is just a bonkers car I mean like we said if you compare it to something of the size of a Supra this has doubled the engine and doubled the capacity of what a Supra does in more or less the same size and it hides it really well until you start getting to those higher rev ranges where the V12 starts to absolutely sing And this car just sounds as beautiful as it looks and that's a really high high standard to hit because this car is absolutely stunning from the outside and inside and it just sounds near perfect I mean I think the only thing that comes close or even beats it is maybe an A12 or F12 Ferrari V12 at the higher rev ranges but the pureness of this engine is just something phenomenal so I'm gonna hand this over to Eugene now to see what he thinks about it from the passenger side okay guys oh my days this is i don't know what mateo told you guys but i'm pretty sure we're gonna say the same thing this is unbelievable i mean he uh, so a, a lovely guys at the auto agent just floored it a bit and it was get, literally getting tail happy literally so tail happy oh the, that sound the sound is to die for the sound is unbelievable in this car it really really is unbelievable i uh, just let me let down the window oh 
this this engine just speaks to you that I don't even think a V8 Vantage would. <laughs> and I, I really don't know. I don't know if I'm a Ferrari person still. Because this right here is just otherworldly. The immediacy of that power is shocking. It's so shocking. You know, it's not like a turbocharged car where you're waiting for turbos to spool up and you're waiting for boost to spool up. It's just immediate. With just immediacy. And I'm surprised that it makes this many burbles because um, modern cars today really do make it artificial and make it seem like it's not really there. But a big power plant like this, it really is an amazing car. It's so amazing. And it's so comfortable. It's so... It's not an Aston Martin at the end of the day. I know I don't really know anything else that can really touch this in terms of what it is because wow I mean the Ferrari was amazing but this is just a different level this is just an, a different level of performance comfort and I do kind of feel like James Bond I'm not gonna lie I really do kind of feel like James Bond yeah yeah so if you guys do want to see us maybe drive this car eventually in the future make sure you like comment and subscribe because the more of you watch, then yeah, maybe we'll see what we what the future holds. And I'm losing my words and I'm stumbling on my words because it's just so epic. It's just really, really so epic. And it's so quiet and so calm. But yeah, I'll let you know my final thoughts and our final thoughts when we're back at the dealership. My days. <laughs> Thank God for those carbon ceramics. Thank God for those carbon ceramics. And we have an M6 right in front of us. I'm pretty sure you guys have honestly watched that video. It was an orange one, which is mid last year that we reviewed it. So if you want to watch it, make sure you click the link up there. I mean, a V8 sounds amazing, but a V12 just sings. It sings. Okay, guys, so what do we think about the V12 Vantage? It is outrageous. You know, before, I wasn't really a Vantage person because I looked at it as like almost a lesser kind of Aston Martin because the Aston Martins that I like are the DBS, the Vanquish and maybe the, the older Vanquish as well like from the early 2000s but it is unbelievable unbelievable although we did not get to drive it sadly but maybe in the future we will which is where you need to like comment and subscribe and share this video as well it's stunning I have no words for this I mean we're spinning I don't know Mateo yeah I do not know dude <laughs> God. Guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also, thank you to the auto agents again for allowing us to come and do this review. Of course, we've already done the C63 and the M3 video, so make sure you just click the link up there if you want to watch that video. And well, I hope you enjoyed because there's more of these coming in the future. See you next time.